Hi, I'm Dan Dunlop, and recently my company published an infographic titled Eight Elements Missing from Most Healthcare Marketing Programs. Today I'm here to talk about number three on the list, which is community building. My perspective is that the world has changed, and healthcare marketing needs to change right along with it. One of the things we're seeing in healthcare is, is the movement from acute episodes of care to a more consistent engagement model where we are involving the patients in their own health and well-being and there's a continuity of care over time focused on wellness and prevention and, and um, eliminating chronic disease or preventing chronic disease. Well in order to do that which is very different than what we've done in the past we need to change how we market to our constituents, to the people in our service area, because the marketing needs to drive those same initiatives, wellness and prevention and, uh, and so on. I've spent the last year traveling around the country, speaking at conferences and writing for industry publications about community. I really believe that community needs to be the central theme of healthcare marketing today and moving forward. Unfortunately, our main focus today for most healthcare organizations is generating and distributing content where I believe it needs to be community building and community maintenance. As healthcare marketers, we've got to see ourselves as community builders, creating these online environments, these communities where we can bring people together, people of shared interest, and they're niche communities, not, not mass communities. So bring together people of shared interest, whether it's moms, cancer patients, cancer survivors, um, people interested in weight loss, creating these communities, opening them up to our constituents, bringing them in, and letting them have the important conversations and do the sharing that they want to do. Uh, other industries have jumped on this bandwagon, the pharmaceutical industry, uh, certainly managed care companies. It's time that hospitals jump in head first and, and, and begin to lead this charge. Through this community building we can meet the needs of our organizations moving forward as we, as we shift from the old focus on episodes of care where you see a patient very infrequently and it's usually a sick visit to more of a wellness and prevention focus where we're trying to keep people healthy over time, keep them out of the hospital, prevent, prevent chronic disease. To do that, you need a different type of engagement. Frankly, you need to engage consumers, and we haven't been engaging them. We've been spewing stuff at them, and it's stuff that doesn't interest them. To market service lines, um, yes, and we will probably always market service lines, but unless you're in dire pain and in need of a hip replacement, you really don't care about that. So to meet the needs of our hospitals and organizations moving forward, we need a different model of marketing, and it's much more of an engagement model. And the community building, this notion of creating these communities of shared interest, meets that need. It's a way to bring people together, meet their needs, and establish value. And that's what's been missing from healthcare marketing. There hasn't been value in it for the consumer. So by creating these communities, we, we meet many of the needs of consumers and do establish value. We give them information. We allow, allow them to engage with others. We create that opportunity for them to share and reflect uh, and, and do storytelling. And, and you see this online in all of these patient communities. These people want an opportunity to tell their stories and they want an opportunity to learn from others who are going through the same type of experiences we can be the facilitators of those conversations and through that we build up equity and they develop a deeper connection with our brand and our organizations and again we can infuse those conversations with our resources and with our physicians in a very non-promotional way very much being a resource within these communities and that will lead to service line volume it's not traditional service line marketing it's better it has a real value to consumers who've already expressed an interest in the particular health topic. I think that is where we need to go as healthcare marketers.